through all the lessons that I've learned in my life, they've all come through fighting, the majority of them. Anytime that anybody goes and steps in that cage, you are completely 100% naked. You are at the risk of bearing your soul to the world. And more importantly, you are at the risk of bearing your soul to yourself. Showing yourself your true colors, your true nature. And I've seen my true nature. I've seen my true nature when my ego is fighting. And I've seen my true nature when my spirit is fighting. And I know exactly how to tell the difference. And that was one of the most important things that I've ever learned is how to, the, how to really tell the difference between my ego and my spirit. To me, my ego is more than anything, it's my inner speech. It's the, the words and thoughts that are going on in my head at all times. And everybody, everybody has a different mind. I'm, I'm sure some people's minds are super positive and they don't have to work on that at all. And a lot of those guys end up being champions very easily. They don't, you don't see a lot of hardship in their careers. But not me, not this guy. My mind is very negative. My mind tells me I can't do things. My mind tells me I'm not good enough. My mind tells me I'm too tired. I can't go on. I don't have enough gas for the next round. And it's taken a long time for me to, to really be able to quiet that inner speech. And even if I can't quiet it, to know that it really has zero effect on me. Because that's not me. That's just, that's just my ego. It's not me. If I, if I fight and with that side of me, you'll see it in my performance, 100%. But when I fight with my spirit, with my true nature, with my true state of being, you see a completely different person out there. And it's taken me a long time to, to be able to differentiate between the two and to be able to shut off those thoughts or even to just watch those thoughts and watch them float away and pay them no heed. I'm sure a lot of people think that because I'm saying these things that um, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm weak. Oh, he doesn't think he's good. Oh, he's not confident. Oh, he's weak. It's, that's my strength. That's my strength, my honesty, my ability to be honest with myself and everybody else is my strength. If I know that I have these weaknesses, then they're not weaknesses anymore. It's when I, if I deny that I have them, which is what I used to do as, as a young fighter, I would deny all these things. I would be, oh, I'm not scared. Uh, I'm hype, I'm hype, I'm hype, I'm scary, I'm angry. And I, I'd work myself up into this crazy rage before I would go fight. And sometimes it would work. Um, sometimes it wouldn't. And I'd have like, sometimes I'd be on, sometimes I'd be off. Sometimes I'd believe all the stuff that I was telling myself. Sometimes I wouldn't. And so I had this real up and down in my career. And um, it took me a long time, man. It took me a long time to be able to, to change. And the main thing that changed that was to just learn more about myself spiritually, to learn more about the world, to learn more about creation. I used to be really scared because I didn't know what was going to happen when I went out in the ring. Now I love that I, know, I don't know what's going to happen because the unknown is the last thing you should fear because that's where creation happens. That's where you'll have those momentary sparks of genius and you'll just pull off something incredibly spectacular and you'll, you'll be watching the tape later and you'll be like, how did I even do that? How did I see that so quickly and put the perfect technique exactly where it needed to go at the exact perfect time? It's completely incredible to me. And it would never happen if I knew it was coming. I wouldn't be able to do that choreographed. I would only be able to do it instinctually. It's the unknown, man. The unknown is where a creation happens.
you gotta you gotta love it 